Welcome back. I'm Alfred Poor, your host and moderator for this health tech series with for TechBlick. Um, and it's the first of the uh, our monthly series throughout 2024, uh, all about health tech and its different applications. And today we're focusing on aging in place and elder care. And in this second Seg the second panel, we're going to be exploring some of the very different kinds of technologies and the different kinds of solutions that um, that are out there and and what we can reasonably hope for from from technology to, to help us with uh, identifying and, and dealing, coping with certain different kinds of uh, impairments that seniors encounter. Um, I encourage you to put a, any questions you have into the chat uh, uh, on, the, on your screen, lower, lower right-hand corner, um, and we'll get the, the questions to me, and hopefully uh, we'll work them in as, as best we can through, through the discussion. So um, at this point, I'd like to welcome our panelists on stage, and we can get started. So um, uh, we've got, uh, we have uh, Ryan Hurd, who is the founder and CEO of Caregiver Smart Solutions. We have Kyle Rand, who is the CEO and co-founder of Rendever. And we have Richard Hirsch, who's the chief marketing officer for Unaliware. And as we discover, they're taking very different approaches to some of the needs that, uh, uh, seniors encounter and, and their caregivers and their families. So just very briefly, let's go run through and get a quick description of your product and service, what you do for, for folks. So Ryan, if you'd kick it off. Hey, Alfred, how are you? I really appreciate I'm being good. a part of this. And hello to everybody out there, whether it's morning, afternoon, night. Uh, we love to have everybody here. So this is great. My name is Ryan Hurd. I'm the founder of Caregiver Smart Solutions. We are AI for aging in place, and we're a simple and effective way to know that your loved one's okay. What we're doing is we're using tiny non-invasive sensors that are monitoring the activities of daily living of your loved one. This way, we can get ahead of problems. And we're answering the three core issues, which is, is my mom okay? Is she alive? Did she fall? And then everything else in real time. So that's what we're doing at Caregiver Smart Solutions. And I can't wait to talk about more of everything that we can do to advocate for our caregivers and aging in place. Excellent. Thanks. Kyle. What's Hi, the... everyone. Yeah, so let, let me tell you a little bit about Rendever. First of all, Alfred, thanks so much for having us. We're really excited to be here today. Um, Rendever is a company that's created an immersive technology platform specifically designed to allow older adults to have a longer, healthier, and more connected life. And so what we do is we use virtual reality technology to allow older adults to build community through positive shared experiences. So it's really, we're, we're really focused on helping individuals overcome social isolation, no matter where they're living. And through the use of our technology, also redefining the aging experience and doing so by really repositioning how we're able to experience new things, how we're able to experience joy, and importantly for this conversation, how we're able to build communities uh, mm -hmm. no matter where you're physically located. Excellent. So exc excited to dive into the combo. <laughs> oh, excellent. Wonderful. Thank you. And Richard, the Conega Watch. Yeah, hi. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, I'm Richard Hirsch, Chief Marketing Officer for Unaliware. Uh, we make, as Alfred said, a product called the Conega Watch. It is the only uh, medical alert watch on the market with fall detection that you can actually wear 24 seven. Um, it's a really game changing device uh, in what's called the personal emergency response space, which many people call the I fall and I can't get up space, uh, which everyone, you know, 65 and below laughs at and everyone 65 and above is horrified by that kind of meme, that late night comedy meme. Um, we're trying to destigmatize the industry by providing a, a non-stigmatizing way, a watch that allows you to get the same help, uh, but most importantly, that you can wear around the clock. And, uh, and we just got rated in big, big win for our company, just as an aside, we just got rated the best medical alert device by the New York Times Wirecutter. So we're uh, a smaller company in the space, but we're innovating and uh, we're trying to create a, a non-stigmatizing option 
in an industry that really stigmatizes people and kind of makes it difficult for them to make the decision between safety and, and feeling uh, like they're not stigmatized. Excellent. Now, uh, if, if I understand correctly, and um, well, actually, Kyle, is your service um, a, a B2C? Is it a consumer service or no. do you go, go into care facilities? Yeah, great question. So we primarily right now work in the enterprise settings. We work with senior living communities all over North America, um, increasingly a number of hospice organizations, increasingly a number of healthcare organizations, really using VR to ameliorate pain and kind of the, the stress of receiving uh, acute medical procedures. Uh, there's a ton of research behind that side. But primarily right now with older adults, we, we do work with senior living communities, but we have been testing a model increasingly and especially over the past few months in which our senior living communities allow older adults who don't live in the community to take a Rendever headset home with them, um, which enables you know people to actually start building that strong social bond ahead of actually making a full-time move, which is a much lower commitment financially, but really overcomes one of the core issues facing older adults today, which is the fact that, especially if you're aging in place, you're spending a lot of time alone. The, the, the marginal cost of hardware is high compared to software. Mm -hmm. is it, um, but so tell, tell me a little more, what, what kind of experiences do seniors have when, when they use Rendever? How, how yeah, does that build magic, community? The magic of Rendever is you could walk up to somebody, you could say, if you could go anywhere in the world or you could do anything, what would you want to do? And then with a few clicks and a few buttons, you could bring someone there. So we have a massive library of experiences. We have thousands of immersive video experiences. We have some direct uh, integrations with uh, other services that allow you to type in somebody's like childhood home address and then bring them straight there in an immersive setting. So they could be standing right in front of their child at home. And then we've built out tools to enable either staff members or family members of older adults to go in and actually build a location by location life journey through somebody's entire life. So you could take someone from their childhood home to their college campus, to the place they got married, the first house that they bought. And you know, there's a lot that comes up from that. And really why it helps build community is when you bring someone into an experience like that, there's this natural inclination to start sharing stories. And especially for people who might be facing you know, early stages of cognitive decline, that kind of fully immersive sensory stimulus really opens up their memory and really gets them talking. And so what we do is we train our volunteers, our staff members, whoever's delivering the experience to cultivate those moments into a full dialogue, a full conversation, and use that to plant a seed in which people are able to get to know each other better. And I know that might sound floofy if you've never really tried it, but we have a ton of research uh, where we've been researched back since day one, showing uh, significant decreases in depression, increases in uh, multiple measures of mental health. Um, and we've really seen that we can actually increase dyadic relationship strength and satisfaction in relationships through continuous usage of Rendever. So, so Ryan, at the other end of the spectrum, there's your product is largely designed to not require interaction with the, the, right. the senior in the home at all. Well, it's interesting because um, as he was just speaking, it was reminding me of the conversation we were having the other day, right? Your, your mom is what, 101, 102? 102. 102 years old. And whenever I hear that, I, the first thing I think about is, can you imagine what this person has seen in their life? And you're solving that problem because imagine walking through, you know, where she was born, where she grew up what school that she went to and everything on her life. And, and for me as a technologist, I obviously think about, man, do you, what about the times where our phones were actually bolted to our walls and we actually had a wire hanging off to them? You know, most people don't remember that, but all of that wonderful technology, even the advent of color TV and telephones and everything. It's, it's amazing what a person at that age has seen in their life. And for us, you know, at Caregiver Smart Solutions, it's how do we enable these loved ones that are living on their own to age gracefully, you know, age in place. They, they want to stay home for a various amount of reasons. It's, it's where their family is. It's where their friends are. It's where their community is. So how do we enable them to live for as long as possible with dignity and independence? And that's really what we're focused on. And for us, obviously, we're, we're answering the core question, which is, you know, right now it's 1025 New York uh, time zone. Uh, is mom okay? And did she fall? And then everything else. Is she 